The Senate begins debate today on the Paycheck Fairness Act. The bill is meant to protect women from retaliation if they talk about their salary with their coworkers. Yes. Yesterday, President Obama signed an executive order allowing government mm -hmm. contract workers to discuss pay and benefits. Deborah Gillis is president and CEO of Catalyst. She attended the White House event yesterday. Her company works with other businesses to expand opportunities for women. Deborah, welcome. You were in the room yesterday when the signing took place. Why is the transparency so important when it comes to salaries? The transparency is so important because if you know what your salary is and what your colleagues are making, then that gives women the information they need to negotiate and to ask uh, to be paid fairly and equally to men. Even the White House had to acknowledge that there's some discrepancy between the salaries of men and women who work at the White House. Were you are you surprised that this is still an issue in 2014 among all businesses? I am surprised. I first looked at this issue as a high school senior, and at that time, the gender pay gap was 60 Seven cents on the dollar. Today it's 77 cents. 31 years later, we've not made a lot of progress. So paying attention to this issue is really important. Beyond paying attention, what else is necessary? Well, the transparency that we talked about, it becomes really important. And the data. Catalyst Research has found that first job post MBA, women earn $4,600 a year less than men. When that data is presented and employers are aware of it, then it gives them the tools they need to actually change what's happening in their workplace. Deborah, I was shocked to see that more women are now staying home. What's that about? There's a couple of things that I think are happening there. One is if you look at the increase in number of women staying at home, it's tied to the economic downturn. So more women are staying home because they can't find a job. The other is really a question about, is work worth it? Mm -hmm. And if women are not being paid fairly and equally, then families are going to make choices about who stays at home and who doesn't, particularly when you take into account costs of daycare and other things. Everybody I know is trying to make that equation make in their house. Decision. Yeah, It seems to me also important to make sure that there is a clear understanding of the data that suggests how much women contribute to economic growth and innovation. You're absolutely right, Charlie. This is an economic issue because if you close the gender pay gap for women, then what you have is more women with money to spend in the exactly. economy and that's going to drive economic growth for, uh, for all businesses and for the country as a whole. All right. Thanks, Deborah. So interesting.